Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is Monday and I did work a night shift last night so I woke up a little bit later today. I woke up around 9.30. It's currently around 11.30 right now. I am just sipping on my coffee while I send out our times for the drivers. Honestly, the only coffee that I can actually drink black without making me feel nauseous or sick is the Nespresso pods. My dad actually gave me this machine when we moved in because we had actually gifted it to him but then he decided to cut out caffeine and so he gave it to me which I I'm honestly obsessed with it but this is my favorite flavor that i like it's the vanilla custard one if it'll decide to focus it's the only one that i feel doesn't need creamer it's strong enough to wake me up but not too strong that i'll be nauseous and i don't know i just really like it i'm probably just going to take you along with me for today and tomorrow because i do need to start another video starting wednesday so far i have to work on all of these details to send to our drivers and then from there i have to edit a tiktok video and then today is my dad's birthday he is officially 55 I want to go to Boot Barn because I have been looking for this gift card for forever and I finally found it. So I'm going to use that to get my dad something for his birthday. And then for now that I'm out, if I have time, I'm going to look for something for Lauren's birthday because hers is on Wednesday. They're only two days apart. She's going to be turning 20. So I do want to get her something for sure. While I'm out, I want to try to get a couple of Uber Eats orders. I kind of have a goal for myself of how much I would like to make a day with my side hustles. However, today I might not have the time because I also have to meet up with my older sister today around 2 40 because my baby niece is having her six month photo shoot and the person that's actually going to be doing those photos is going to be the one that's going to be doing our family photo shoot as well and ours i believe is at the end of the week my family hasn't taken any professional pictures in literally years and my mom has been asking all of us for the longest time to schedule something so that we can hang up some new portraits at her home so it's actually one of our really good friends she does the best pictures she has more of like that, that filmy vibe, which is seriously my favorite. So I'm really looking forward to how they're going to look. But with that being said, I need to find an outfit for the photo shoot because I honestly have no idea what I'm going to wear. My family is going with more like neutral vibes. We'll probably incorporate some like navy or blue tones, but it's mostly like brown, beige, tans, all of that. So I want to try to find something. It's going to rain this weekend. So we're kind of a little bit iffy about the date, but either way, I need to be prepared with an outfit. If I don't find anything at TJ Maxx today, then I'm I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna see if I can find something, whatever I don't end up liking, I'm just gonna return it. That is the plan for today. And then tonight, since it is my dad's birthday, my family will all be going to my parents' house and celebrating. I think we're gonna have a bonfire, we're gonna have food, and we're gonna have a little cake for him. It's not gonna be anything crazy, not like a party or anything, but my family all wants to get together to celebrate him. It should be a really good time. I'm actually really looking forward to a really nice bonfire. So I'm excited about that. For now, I really have to get down to work because I'm a little behind on this since I woke up pretty late and I'll just take you along with me throughout the day It's already one o'clock and time is flying But I haven't had any breakfast and normally I'm never hungry after working a night shift I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's waking up later or what but I never really have much of an appetite But obviously I have to eat because if I don't have at least something small then I'll want to binge kind of the rest of the day So I don't want to do that instead. I'm having this hawaiian papaya. It's actually really small I'm only having half of it but I'm kind of just scooping it from just like it's little boat kind of thing. So I'm having this for breakfast. I had my coffee. I already took my supplements and I'm drinking my Stanley. I'm trying to stay as consistent as I can with my health. Even if I'm not crazy strict on like counting my macros, I still want to make sure that I'm having healthy enough meals where it doesn't completely derail me from my goals. I am obviously trying to lose weight and I'm trying to do it in the most balanced way I possibly can because all of the crash dieting that I've done in the past all of the deprivation and all of the cold turkey every time that i've done that i've always reverted back to my original weight and more so i'm trying not to do that this time i'm trying to make sure that i'm never in a place where i'm starving so that i don't set myself up for failure to end up then binging or i'm always trying to make sure that i'm hydrated you know prevent any kind of headaches or honestly even making sure that i'm hydrated keeps me from like thinking that i'm hungry when i'm really not i'm trying to have as much nutritious food as i can so so instead of going out and grabbing some drive through breakfast, I decided to have some fruit. I'm just trying to make better decisions than what I would have in the past. Even if it's not like saltless chicken with, you know, raw vegetables, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to still eat healthy, but in a way that is good to me, to where I actually crave these foods. I enjoy them. They keep me full. They keep me healthy. And they have a lot of vitamins, fiber, protein, things like that. That's really my focus. And honestly, I am seeing results. I've lost eight pounds so far. 
the scale is going down slowly but it's going down so that's all that i'm really concerned about i'm just gonna take a couple of snacks with me to hit the road and run errands and then meet up with my sister and then at night we're actually gonna have tacos at my mom's house i'm gonna head out right now i don't have that much time so i'll see how much i can get done i'm out the door and i'm eating one of these chomps i've been obsessed with these ever since my sister took them to malibu i probably had one like every day at this point i turned on my uber eats i'm hoping maybe i can get a couple of orders before i go meet up with my sisters but i would like to stop at target because i need deodorant i want to get some new more chomps and then i want those fig bars i don't know what they're called i think it's like nature's something i don't really know they're really good so i want to get some of those as well just get some like healthier snacks and then i don't know what else i really oh shoot i have to go to boot barn scratch all of that i'm going to boot barn first and then if i have time for target then i'll go to target that's where we're gonna go now okay so i'm kind of liking this jacket right here it's black and it's fleece lined cody james brand but i saw a different one that didn't have a size so i'm on the hunt for it i think it's a denim one so we're between between this option right here and this one right here i just sent the pictures to my mom and sisters and see which one we think my dad might like personally i think he might like this one but he doesn't have anything like this so i kind of hope they say this one <laughs> okay so the lighting was a little bit off in there but i really wanted to get the denim one but my mom said he already has something similar to it so i ended up getting him this black one you can't even see it because it's a stupid steering wheel but it's so nice and then it has a suede collar and then it's fleece lined obviously we're going into the winter i mean how how cold it gets here we're in southern california it's not freezing obviously but it gets cold enough for what we're used to so i decided to get him this one and i really like it my gift card actually covered a good chunk of it so i didn't really end up paying much out of pocket and then i placed a pickup order for target for the gift bag because i don't have time to actually go inside and do all the shopping and for now i just placed the order for the fig bars i didn't realize how expensive trump's beef sticks were so i decided to pass on that for now but the fig bars sound really good so I at least have that. right now i'm just gonna snack on this little fruit cheese and nut mix it's about 150 i'm gonna ask my sister exactly what time i have to be there so i know if i should just go straight from here or if i can stop at home really quickly to get a couple of things i'm gonna call her right now see what's going on see what the plan is and then we'll take it from there <laughs> just won this really cute cardigan at Old Navy and I'm contemplating getting it 40% off and I'm looking for more knits for the winter so this might be an option. I also snagged this one but this was the only one that I saw it was kind of a random find and it's a 2x so I'm looking for something a little bit more fitted. Hopefully I can keep looking but I really like the buttons on this one. Might be a purchase. I also found this coat which I think is super cute but honestly it's a little too like constricted on the arms. What I think I'm gonna do instead because it's actually on sale for like $40 so I might actually get this for lauren for her birthday or i might just get us both one and then if i just really end up not liking it i'm just gonna return mine i just left old navy i figured i'd stop in because i had a little bit of time and where we're meeting is kind of around the corner so i didn't find anything for the photo shoot but i did find a really good coat that i've kind of been on the hunt for i just haven't found one that i thought was kind of worth it but i actually ended up really liking it and then i got myself two cardigans i'm gonna head over now to meet up with my sisters their photo shoot is supposed to start around 3 15 3 20 so so it's 2.57, it's down the street, and I gotta head out. Xenon, Xenon came along to the photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's a teacher and it was crazy hair dance. Yeah. Well, she had two I had knitted yarn. buns. Yeah, but I took the yarn out, obviously. Here. Thank you. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> hey, mama. Ella is being so sweet right now. We're just waiting for Jennifer to get here and we should start taking pictures soon. Don't mind me being out of breath, but this is such a pretty spot to take pictures. Yeah! Whole crew helping us out here. Are you nice and cozy now? 
Okay, Ella never, ever, ever <laughs> likes to be held like really this. Ever since she was three weeks old, she thought she was a big girl, but for whatever reason, she's falling asleep. We think she has a sugar crack. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh. I know. She literally never likes to be held like this. Okay, seriously, thank God for our friends and family because we could uh, literally could not have taken these pictures like, without them. Yeah, it literally takes a village. So it's currently 625 and that photo shoot was seriously such a success. Ella did such a great job today. She was so happy. She was just a little ham talking and laughing the whole time. So we're really happy about the way that it turned out. I ended up getting so much traffic on the way home that I got home probably like 10 minutes ago. I just changed into something a little bit more comfortable because we are going to have a bonfire. So I just wanted to make sure that I was in just like cozy clothes. So I just put on some leggings, my Ugg slippers, and this fleece sweater that I thrifted. My boyfriend is currently on his way right now to pick me up. We're gonna head over there and just enjoy the rest of the night with my family. Mom is making her specialty tacos. Do you know about that? Birthday boy. Hi. Warming the tortillas. Oh, Nino stuff. is holding Ella. I'm slicing limes. My mom also made banana water, which is really good. 10 out of 10. And she's in her little Mexican apron. These are our tacos. to do our secret Santa pics. This one's gonna be between my aunts, uncles, cousins, all of us, we're gonna join in. We're about to draw to see who we get, set our budget and all that stuff, set our Christmas list. Okay, go ahead and pick your secret Santa. Mine's gonna be a little bit difficult. But we ended up having to redo it because we forgot to put it in there. Now mine's gonna be easy. Since my family can't keep a secret, we're gonna play charades to guess who we got. Gosh, mother. Yeah. <laughs> I knew right away. I'm like, she really yeah, crocheted. I get serious. I'm getting a character. Seriously, it's the best. <laughs> Casual walk. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, and I am actually about to go for a run. I haven't run in a really long time, but my sisters, my dad, my boyfriend, and I all signed up for another 5K coming up in December. So I want to at least try to train a little bit for that. So I'm going to go out right now. I'm going to do a run. I'm basically going to start over my sister's training plan just because I kind of had to put a pause to that. So I'm going to pick it up again and see how far I can get and how much I can actually run today because I don't feel like I can do much. I'm just like really praying that the pre-workout kicks in and we can get through this little run I don't think I'm gonna end up doing a lot I'll probably end up doing like a mile to a mile and a half just something small and then gradually work my way back up Other than that, I do have a target pickup I have a couple of tiktok videos that I have to make and then I have to edit a vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow And I want to organize my entire list of how I want to do vlogmas I want to try to do a little bit of uber eats see how much I can get during lunchtime It's around 9 10 right now I'm just trying to get out, get this done and over with, come back, get ready, and let's start the day. I got back from my run and I decided to make myself a little bit of a breakfast. And honestly, this just looks so good. It just tastes like candy. I personally love papaya, but I haven't had Hawaiian papayas and these actually don't taste anything like a papaya in itself. It was just really good. Instead of a coffee this morning, I just decided to make myself a green tea. I'm trying to keep it light for the mornings. I'm just waiting for this to cool down. It's extremely hot. I also remembered that I have to do some Etsy orders today. That run 
done was really hard for me today like it was actually a struggle i'm just trying to find the motivation again to just like get back out there without an excuse i feel like normally in the past this wasn't the case for me daylight savings would come around and i would feel totally fine it was just normal to me there was nothing that would throw me off but this time around i feel like my body is trying so hard to adjust to this new schedule i don't know i'm not a fan and i've just been trying to find motivation because it's not even cold outside it felt great running outside right now in shorts and a really thin t-shirt i don't know i don't know what it is i'm trying to find the motivation i'm trying to like push myself to go out there i ended up walking a bunch of that and then i realized half a mile in that i forgot to press start on strava so it didn't even record half of that i basically ran a mile and a half i was just really struggling to just push myself to keep running i'm trying to push myself to get out there every single day so that the struggle becomes less and i get back into the flow the way that i was previously and just find like my groove in that and have fun with it again it's been hard not gonna lie and it sucks because if i miss my run in the morning i can't go at night because at 4 30 the sun's already starting to set so i'm just really trying to find what's working for me right now because the season is just getting busier and busier yesterday was my dad's birthday tomorrow is my sister's birthday this weekend we do have plans to go apple picking which is just so much fun i've gone every year so far and i absolutely love it that's gonna be for a separate video i'm just really trying to find what's working for me as far as my schedule goes trying to not worry about lack of motivation but just trying to stick to a disciplined routine and it's been a little bit of a struggle because i keep trying to look for motivation and it's just not there right now i just have to make sure that i'm not so much forcing myself but just really pushing myself out of the comfort of wanting to sleep in a little bit longer or slowing the night down when it kind of starts to get dark even though it's only five o'clock i don't know we'll figure this out but for now i'm proud of the fact that i just went out there even if i ended up walking a lot i still got my steps in i still did cardio at the end of the day that's what's gonna pay off it's currently one o'clock and i just finished doing a video i actually had to redo it so that's why it took me a little bit longer and i told my boyfriend that i was gonna go to the mall to look for ideas or maybe an outfit that i can do for our family photo shoot i think he might actually end up tagging along with me so i'll probably just end up doing that and then later on today once we get back i'm not trying to be out all day when we get back then i'll probably start on my etsy orders but before he gets here i do want to send out our details to our drivers and then probably have like a little snack and then we'll head out i'm finally home it is 2 40 and i just didn't pick up my camera while i was with my boyfriend just because i was kind of on a mission to just get in look for something and get out and so i didn't find anything at h&m i may have found a few options at zara they were having a little bit of a sale so i got a few cardigans which i'll probably just show you guys later but right now i'm actually starving the only thing i had for breakfast was that fruit i was going to make the salmon for dinner but i think i'm just gonna make it right now instead since it's already defrosted it's gonna be really fast to make i've actually been really into these izzy drinks lately and this is a sparkling mango which is so good and for this little can it is 70 calories it's just a little fun drink to have for now with some flavor i'm gonna have my lunch and then maybe do a little bit of editing for a video that's supposed to go up tomorrow i'm also gonna do a little bit of a try on haul with you guys with the things that i got yesterday and today so i will just catch up with you guys afterwards okay so i thought i would give you guys a little mini haul of the things that i got from old navy and zara i got this cardigan which actually i think might be an option for the photo shoot we're looking for like neutral colors and this is just a creamy color with some little like brown specks i actually think it's really pretty i was in need of some new like knits i actually think i really like this for the photo shoot so this is an option if i can't find anything else both that cardigan and this one are from old navy and they were both on sale i think this one is super cute like i really like the buttons i don't have a cardigan that's like this and i feel like i could get a really good use out of this this was actually supposed to be smaller but they only had a 2x because it was actually an online return it is a little bit oversized for the style i'm kind of looking for this so i think what i'm going to do instead is just wear it with some high-waisted pants and probably just tuck it and i actually feel like that would look nicer so i don't know my hair has to be done and everything next is this sweater from zara and i actually really like it i guess the only way i can describe it is like sturdier than i expected to i thought it was gonna be more like a sweater material it has a little bit of a higher collar and i don't know i just think it's really comfortable i was kind of on the hunt for just a solid black sweater that i could just wear with anything and the sleeves are a little bit different it almost looks like a cutoff this part is like that too at first i thought i wasn't going to like it but i actually do think i'll be wearing this quite often I also got it in another color so let me just try that on this is the sweater in more of a like creamy off-white color I'm kind of like looking at the collar right now it looks a little bit stretched I know it's not but that might actually bother me it's the same exact sweater but this one feels a lot softer a lot stretchier I feel like it looks like it's been worn several times and this is literally the first time trying it on I like this one better than the black one it's just the collar next is this cute little cardigan from Zara it has just like really delicate dainty buttons and I really like that this is what the sleeves look like I actually think both my sisters just got here so i'm gonna 
ask them for their opinion and see how they feel about what I just got. I'm about to head out right now and try to get some Uber Eats orders. I don't know how successful it'll be, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It's already 3.42 and I just don't like going past 4.45, 5 o'clock, just because it gets super dark at that time. So I'm trying to be out only while there's light. This is my only chance that I got today, but I'm trying to get at least a couple of orders a day. I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra cash here. So I don't care if I get one order or two. Extra is extra. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm currently waiting for my Target drive-up order. For now that I'm waiting, I'm watching Chastity's YouTube video. And then I'm also waiting for some Uber Eats orders for now that I'm here. I'm making my way back home just because it's already getting dark. I got a couple of orders, but nothing crazy. It just wasn't paying well today. So I'm just gonna call it a night as far as like deliveries go. I have three videos to work on, so I'll probably just be doing that for the rest of the night. Give the lighting in here it's honestly so bad i really need to take the time to kind of look for a ceiling lamp slash ceiling fan just because it does get pretty hot in here sometimes as well so i don't just want a light i want something that's also going to cool the room without having to turn on the ac for now we're working with this target lamp that's gonna have to make do i was just talking to my sister the whole time we were just catching up while i was working on etsy orders i have two orders actually that i have to ship out i have some a credit card bundle that i'm sending out and then i have some cash trackers that I'm sending as well. And these are actually my new ones. So I'm really excited that these are starting to sell. I just like to wrap this up in tissue paper and make it as presentable as I can. I always add one of my little cards that I made. I do have a little bit more exciting stuff coming up in the next week or two. So I will be filming that and there will be a little bit more content coming up here. I'm also trying to coordinate properly for Vlogmas. It is currently 7.15 and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because the only thing that I'm gonna be doing for the rest rest of the night is basically editing. I have three videos to edit and then I have a lot of admin work that I have to catch up on. We have some exciting stuff coming up for the rest of the month as well as next month so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any ideas or recommendations of what you would like to watch by all means please leave them down in the comments. I always love hearing what you guys want to watch. It also helps me get a little bit more creative. It kind of pushes me a little bit out of my comfort zone so if there's anything that you guys want to see just go ahead and leave it down below. But other than that thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll really support my channel and and I will see you guys all next week. Bye.